Hey everybody, it's Steve. And if you're looking for a prosumer or semi-pro laser setup, you may be trying to decide between Pangolin's Quick Show with an FB3 QS controller or Laser OS software controlling a laser cube. They both can create some amazing laser shows. And in this video, I want to look at how they're both set up, their software interfaces, some of their content creation tools, including their timelines, and a few cool features that are unique to each system so you can decide which one is going to be best for you. The Pangolin QuickShow software runs on a Windows PC, and then it connects with this FB3 QS controller that comes in this little box with a USB cable, and then connects with the DB25 cable to any ILDA compatible laser, even less expensive Chinese ones like this. Laser OS runs either on a Windows PC, a Mac, an iPhone, or an Android device, and it can connect wirelessly via Wi Fi or with a wired network connection, either directly or using a switch to any of the models in the LaserCube family. Both software apps are easy to download and install, and both are set up with a preview window and a series of tabs or folders where you access their content or creative tools. Laser OS is organized by selecting these different apps where you access different content and also different content creation tools, as well as a bunch of other fun things. And in this pane here is where you add effects. And by selecting these different folders of content and then clicking this autoplay mode, you can instantly create a quick laser show that is going to be able to sync to music with this BPM function. And you have control over the projector here. And you also have control up in this settings pane of your audio input, MIDI, projector setup, video input, and other stuff like that. The Quick Show Workspace has this main section that's called the Q Grid, where you access different pages with these tabs. And you select a queue by clicking on it. And you can affect the way that queues are selected with these different settings. Each queue can be beat synced with this beat system that's configured here. You can also select multiple queues. Down in this section, you can configure the projector settings. And in this section, there's different quick tabs that give you access to the different content creation tools and effects. You can add a lot of cool effects in both of these programs. And in Laser OS, there's a lot of different color effects. And in this area, there's different motion effects. And you can save your favorites. The Quick Show effects are located down in this tab under Quick FX. And here you can add different color effects. You can add motion effects. And you can stack motion and color effects to get some really cool looking stuff. And in both Laser OS and Quick Show, these different effects can be synced to music. Both of these systems give you simple tools to create your own logos, images, text, and more. And in Laser OS, you create your text with this app. You enter your type. And after it's entered, you have different fonts you can choose. You can pick different styles. You can control motion effects here with speed. And you also can go into the effects tab and add effects here. Color effects and motion effects. In Quick Show, you create your text by clicking this Quick Text tab. You enter into the box. You can pick different colors.
You can pick different effects. And one thing that's really cool is once you have something that you like in this box, you can drag it into one of these cues and then instantly call it up by clicking that cue. In Laser OS, there's a couple different ways of creating graphics. One is with this Draw app, and you'll see there's a variety of different tools. You can pick different colors, create different shapes, and each of these shapes is in a layer, so you can go back through the layers and delete your work. There's a freehand tool. There's also an option for creating text. And you can move things around with this tool. You can add a grid to help you align stuff. There's a lot of options. Quick Show has a tool called Quick Shape. And here you can pick different shapes, lines, triangles, squares, pick their color. You can also add effects to them. And those different effects can be edited down here. But now I'm going to show you how you can create some cool beam effects with both programs. Once you have a shape created, you can go in and you can go into beam mode. And here you can set the number of points. And you could set the speed of the beams. Let's see, let's make this a little bit smaller so you can see the beams. Change the colors and add different effects to that. Laser OS has this pretty cool tool called the Beam Creator. And you pick a shape like a sine wave and you add it in. You can make it solid or you can make it dashed or dotted. We'll make it dashed. You can pick the color and then you can add effects to it. So add a, like a rotation effect to it here. And once you have something started, now you can pick another shape. So we'll pick a triangle wave. Let's add it variable rotation and let's see, let's go back down. We'll make this a different color. We're going to change the height of it. And you can just create some wild effects. In Laser OS, to project an imported image like a logo, it needs to be in an SVG format. So you go to import. You find the file. And you have different adjustment settings. And when you go to your playlists folder, you'll see that image that you've imported and you always have it ready to be called up. In Quick Show, you go to the Quick Trace tab in the Quick Tools, and you open the image here. The image can be a BMP, a GIF, a JPEG, or a PNG file. This one is a JPEG, and you have control over some of the image in this section, and you can also drag it to the Q grid and instantly have it available as a cue. Now, both of these programs have a timeline where you can import a music track and then build a complete show synced to that track. So let's take a look at Quick Shows first. And first, you need to import an audio file. And this is an MP3. And you can see it comes in in this audio portion of the timeline. We'll zoom in on it a little bit. You can come up and grab one of your cues and you just drag it down to the timeline. So we'll put this one, let's see, on track one, we'll pick another cue. We'll drag it down here. It's cool because you can overlap them a couple more just to show you how this works. And you can drag them out. You can make them longer or shorter and you can move them around. So we'll go to the beginning. See how this looks.
you can take this box and you can just drag it to the Q grid. I'm going to just drag it here. And then once it's dragged in, when you click this, you can play the show. Okay, let's take a look at Laser OS's timeline. It's here, you click on, and to load the song, uh, which also can be an MP3 or a WAV file, you go in, select it, you'll see it come up here, and now similar to QuickTime Line, you pick a pattern and you just simply drag it down to the timeline. And once it's down there, you can move it around and you can make it longer or shorter. So let's drag a couple down here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's see how that looks. Now another cool thing that you can do is you could drag effects down into its own FX timeline. So let's take this 3D column effect and let's see, we'll arrange it. We'll drag this one out a little bit longer. That way you can see what it looks like when the effect comes on in the timeline. We'll start it here. So anyway, you can combine cues and effects in your timeline to create your show. And then once you're done with it, you can save it out as a show and it'll save into the playlists folder. Each of these systems have so many features that a video like this can barely scratch the surface. But here are a few things that are kind of unique to each one. Laser OS has a bunch of fun apps like games and cool things specific to music like a laser harp and the ability to map triggers to keyboards or drums. QuickShow has a tool called Quick DMX that's basically a software DMX controller where you can create and synchronize cues for lights and hazers. Laser OS has even more unique creative tools that let you cast video input to a laser or paint with light. QuickShow has a feature called QShift that gives you sophisticated live control from on-screen pads. And the list goes on and on. These are two great ways to create very professional results for your laser show. If you already have a Windows computer and an ILDA compatible laser, with just the addition of an FB3 controller, QuickShow is going to give you an incredibly rich feature set. But it may come with a bit more of a learning curve. And if you have a Mac, iPhone or Android device, and having a completely wireless setup is important, Laser OS is going to give you a wealth of interesting and creative options to explore with a simple to understand interface. Either way, you'll be on your way to creating some amazing laser shows. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.